Welcome back everybody. Uh, this is Dave Hayes. I'm back with another ROM overview. Uh, this one here is Paranoid Android or AOSPA. Um, it was just released within the week. Uh, this is quite a surprise to me. Uh, I just put a video out for the uh, Nexus 6. I also have this installed on my Nexus 9. Uh, the Nexus 6 and the Nexus 9 are identical to each other. There is no difference whatsoever between the two. Uh, there are some minor differences in the OnePlus One, therefore I figured um, it best that I put a video out, uh, or a review out, so that you guys running the OnePlus One uh, can see the differences. Normally I don't, uh, if the ROMs are the same running from the Nexus 6 to the OnePlus One or my Nexus 9, I usually don't do two different videos because you can just, you can gather what you need from each video uh, for all uh, devices, but... Uh, there are a few changes, and albeit they are minor, they are uh, a couple different changes. So I want to make sure I'm um, thorough with this, uh, because this is Paranoid Android, and we've been waiting for over a year, year and a half, for this to come out. Uh, I know I, myself included, thought Paranoid Android was done. Uh, we thought they went professional, uh, at least I did, and that we would get no more builds from them. Uh, I'm very happy they're back. Uh, although the the builds that are out right now, uh, at least from what I can tell, are very, very light. Meaning there are not a lot of, uh, if any, custom features um, in them at all. Uh, now, let's go ahead and get into this. This is the one plus one. First thing I'm going to do is, this is how it looks when it's flashed, guys. I, I can't live with this. I have to have a uh, theme on. Uh, I hate white on my phone. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the themes. And this is one thing I like about Paranoid Android is they uh, uh, they run with uh, CMTE uh, or Signage Mod uh, Theme Engine. Uh, I love this. Um, and we're going to put something on that is fairly pleasing to the eye. Uh, not really over the top. Um, I'm debating on whether to go with Lunar or Neon. I've got a lot of comments on Lunar, so let's just go with that. Uh, we'll hit Apply. I'll probably go with um, Vibrance as far as my navigation goes, so let's go ahead. No, no, wait a minute. Uh, navigation bar. Apply. Beautiful, and that's all I'm going to do as far as theming goes. Uh, I will go home, let you guys see this. Um, I did have to work to get the nav bars up. Uh, <laughs> we don't have nav bar settings on the Nexus 6 or the Nexus 9. They are at least on this one. And we're going to go ahead and get into that right now. Okay? So here's a drop down. Before we go any further, for those of you that don't know, uh, how you get your... to put tiles on and pull tiles off is first off you have to unlock this feature by hitting it until it rotates. Uh, it unlocks the feature. Now, I've already unlocked it, so it's asking me if I want to cancel and turn it off. Uh, and I don't want to have it turned off. But for th those of you doing that for the first time, you will notice you have a System UI tuner now. Uh, you can go to uh, Reset Preferences if you want, which I do not want right now. You have your Immersive Mode settings. Uh, you can turn on or off your Immersive Mode for Status Bar or Nav Bar or both. Um, if you want, by and if you want to use them, you just pull up from the bottom and you have them. Uh, I'm going to leave them off, uh, just the way I want to run it. Uh, then, of course, you have your uh, quick pull down. Uh, that is another feature that the very first time you turn this ROM on and you pull down from your quick feature, it's going to ask you if you want to turn on the quick pull down feature. Uh, and it's automatically set to the right side. You can't change it from the left to right. It's automatically set to the right side. So you either say yes or no. Um, I've already agreed to it. I set it up. So it's already set as on. I don't have to turn that on. Now I can turn it off if I want. That's about as far as the settings go for your uh, quick pull down feature. Uh, next up would be your status bar settings. You can pick and choose what you want to show on your status bar. Uh, that is where you're going to go for that. Uh, first, I want to make sure my... Brightness is all the way up. There we go. Uh, I'm going to show that again. Uh, those are the 
features that you can turn off or on. I really love this theme. Uh, again, guys, for those of you that don't, that don't know, this theme is called Lunar. All right, that's it for the, for the system UI. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is in order to change your status bar dropdown, um, after you enable the system UI tuner, uh, at the very top, toward the middle, you'll see that plus sign. If you hit that, that is going to bring up a couple icons which they do not have on or showing. Uh, it's going to have your immersive mode and your floating peak. Uh, you can grab them and put them wherever you want on this. I'll put it right down there. Uh, we're going to add the other one too, immersive mode. We're going to put that on here right there. Uh, if you don't want a tile, uh, let's say no, no SIM card because I'm running this with no SIM card right now. I'll just get rid of it. So if you hit and add tiles, that, that's where you're going to find the uh, icon or the uh, quick setting that you just got rid of right there. Okay. And when you're done, you just hit the back button and you're good to go. Everything will now be in the drop down that you put in. Okay. So that's out of the way. Let's go ahead and go to our settings. About phone. Uh, this is Paranoid Android. Uh, here's where you go for updates. Uh, I don't think there are any updates available yet. Uh, nope, it says my device is up to date. Uh, again, this is the One Plus One or Bacon. Um, if I didn't mention that at the beginning of the ROM, <laughs> then I'm a I'm a <laughs> I'm a dumbass, and I probably should have. <laughs> but I'm not going to edit it, so uh, it's the way it is, guys. I don't edit my videos. All right, uh, you have your. Uh, of course, your status and all that. Uh, but what we're looking at is uh, model number. Uh, this is the OnePlus One. They do make this for pretty much all of the OnePlus devices. They also make them for the Nexus devices. They make it for the Nexus 4, 5, 6, 6P, 5X, and 9. And they also make it for the Nexus 7 2013 model. Uh, they, don't they do not make it for my Nexus 10 which sucks. I really wish they did, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, anyways, uh, this is Android version 6.01. Um, uh, the security updates May 1st. Uh, I would like to see them throw some June uh, updates in there, although I'm not even sure if Google has pushed them out or not. Uh, and then, of course, this is Paranoid Android version 6.0. Uh, the date on this, if I'm not mistaken, I think would have been uh, it was just a couple days ago and of course they don't have that um, you know what if I remember I'll show you the file I'll show you what the date was that uh, I downloaded uh, I am running a um, uh, a custom kernel because I'm running uh, multi-rom uh, it will not boot in secondary position on multi-rom without a custom kernel I know I already tried it uh, just so you know uh, so I am running lightning uh, and, uh, and, and, of course, you know Lightning makes a different kernel, so you guys just have to play with that. I'll show you the kernel I used uh, in order to get this to boot. Also, this ROM does not come with root. I will show you. Here are your developer options. Uh, you have your advanced reboot. They do have that. Uh, that's where you turn that on. But as you can see, there is no root options on this. Because this ROM is not rooted. It does not come rooted. You cannot, there's no way to turn on root. Uh, the only way you can get root on this ROM is if you flash SuperSue. That's it. Um, so, just so you know, I'm running uh, SuperSue 271. I tried 252, which is my favorite because I hate, absolutely freaking hate, systemless root. But, uh, I couldn't get 252 to boot, so I had to go with systemless root. There you go. Um, and I have my reasons. There's a lot of apps that will not work on systemless root. Uh, ES File Explorer being number one. Um, I love that. Uh, I use it daily. That is my go-to file explorer. Uh, now I can't get root on it because of systemless root. So I know there are going to be a lot of you guys out there saying, well, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this. You know what? Uh, I didn't have to do that when we weren't running systemless root. So I know that's the wave of the future. Uh, I just think it sucks. So it is what it is. Anyways, these are the rest of the settings for this. Uh, here's where we're at on that. Uh, we don't have the multi-window mode. I was going to say I already knew that by looking at my Nexus devices. And you do not have last app kill button. Uh, you are not going to have 
very many customizations at all on this, okay? Uh, it's just the way it is. I think it's just because it's new. Um, hopefully, and I do say hopefully, that they do start including some custom features. Uh, we all know uh, Paranoid Android as the go-to ROM uh, if you want to cut, run a custom ROM. And as it is right now, it is barely, barely above stock. And I, and, and I would say with the inclusion of the theme engine is about the only thing that pushes it above stock right now. Um, here are your security settings. Um, you know, you pretty much go in here, uh, unknown sources, make sure you have that turned on. Uh, pretty much everything else is the same. Uh, this does include buttons, which it did not include buttons or gestures on any of the Nexus devices. Uh, it does have gestures. Here's the gestures, and they actually give you quite a few to play with, which is cool. Uh, they have your traditional, Z, you know, you draw the O for camera, V for flashlight, but you can also do a lot of other things. If you look at this, uh, you can do a one-finger swipe. You can, you can make it whatever you want. Um... Those are the options for that. Uh, you have uh, a one finger swipe right, one finger, one finger swipe down, you know, one finger swipe left, uh, two finger swipe, all that. It's there. It's cool. You guys can set it up. Uh, the, the features do work, uh, at least the ones that I have enabled, which are just the camera feature and the flashlight feature. Uh, they do work. Uh, buttons. This is another... Uh, custom feature that is not included on either of my Nexus devices, the 9 or the Nexus 6. So I cannot change my navigation keys around. Uh, luckily, they do have it on here, so we can at least run with navbar uh, on the OnePlus One because I am used to the navbar now and I like to have it. So it used to be when I first had my OnePlus One, I didn't, I, I never used them, I hated them. But I'm so used to them now, I like, the, I like having them there. So you can enable the soft keys by going like that. Uh, you can swap them if you want. Um, if you want to just set up your uh, home key, your back button, your menu button, all that, it's there. Now I do know right now I'm pressing the back button, my old back button, and it's not working. So when you turn on the nav bar, it completely disables that bottom bar. I like that. Um, on some of the other ROMs I run, uh, when you enable the uh, navigation bar, uh, the the hard keys are actually still there and functioning. So some people would say, well, that's pretty cool because I can actually use them for secondary keys or, you know, program them how I want. But if you have stupid fingers like me uh, and you're, you're blindly hitting it uh, just because, you know, you're going in that general area on the phone, uh, if you don't hit the right key, you go, you do a function that you're not used to. So I just, I like it this way. All right, that was buttons. Uh, next up is going to be sound and notifications. I can tell you guys right now, they are straight forward stock configuration setup. Okay? So if you guys know what's already in Marshmallow, you know what's already in the sound settings. Uh, next up would be display. Same here. If anything, less. Uh, I have not found anywhere where I can set up my uh, LED lights. Nowhere. So... The only thing I can tell you about that is if you want to set up your LED lights, I think there's a, an app on the Play Store you can download. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I've read it in some of the threads um, that it's, it's a really good app. It works very well, and it does set up your LED. So I would do a search for that, guys. But as it is right now, uh, I don't know where it's at. If you guys find it, make sure you mention it in the comments uh, so you can let everybody else know where those settings are at. Um, I am running Nova Launcher right now. Uh, it does come when you flash it with uh, Launcher 3 and uh, the Google Now Launcher, depending, of course, on the G apps that you flash. Um, I will tell you right now that I flashed um, the uh, uh, Dirty Unicorns uh, TBO clear. Those are the ones that I flashed, uh, although it doesn't look clear. That's the theme I'm running. Uh, and, oh, I'll, I know something else I wanted to show you guys. A camera doesn't work. Uh, I do know I flashed this in the primary spot with the, uh, included kernel. Um, first off, it does not include a camera, okay? There's no camera in the build. So I downloaded Google Camera first, and this is what I get. That's what I get. Uh, so I thought, okay, uh, so I downloaded the, um, 
or I installed the uh, one plus one camera uh, signage and mods no it doesn't work neither no matter what camera that I put on here it will not work so cameras non-functional um, it could just be my device guys everybody's device is different okay all I can tell you is flash it on your uh, on your device and see if it works um, for me, a camera is, without a camera, it is a no-go for me. Uh, that has to work for me to run this as a daily driver. So, it's not going to run on this device as a daily driver for me. Uh, again, that's, that's just my device, guys. That doesn't mean that it is not going to function on your device. Try it. Uh, chances are, it's probably going to work for you. Okay? Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I know we've waited a long time for it. I am happy as hell that they finally came out with a build, uh, for several devices, actually. They're, it's, uh, they're actually supporting, um, the, all the OnePlus, or all the OnePlus devices. Um, they are also supporting almost all of the Nexus devices, and they are supporting a lot of the Sony devices. So, that's from what I read. Uh, also, you guys are going to want to go to the Google Plus community. Uh, that is going to be where you're going to get all of your downloads. Um, I'll just show you quickly where you go. Uh, just go to communities. If you hit on communities, uh, do a search for... Um, uh, let's go... Uh, Paranoid... Right there, Paranoid Android. And that's it. That's where you go. And it should be the very first post. Uh, it Right there. Uh, Paranoid Android 2016 launch. That's where you're going to go. Um, once it opens up, scroll all the way down here. You guys will see where the download links are right there at the bottom. Uh, it says, uh, there is more to come in AOSPA 2016. Uh, it says, but for now, grab your builds at. And if you click that link right here, or the other one. There it is. There we got it. Um, it will actually take you to where you need to go. Uh, I'll just show you guys real quick what the links look like. As soon as it loads, there we go. You have your official devices and legacy devices. Under official, I'll show you what all they are supporting right now. Although, I think some of these, uh, that they're not completely up to date. Um, I know it shows my... My Manta, my Nexus 10, but I know there are not any up-to-date builds there. As you guys can see, 2015-3.7, that's, uh, and that's build version 5.0, so that's not, it's not, uh, you know, included in the 2016 builds. So, but anyways, that's where you're going to download all your ROMs from. Um, so, just go to the Google Plus community, I will have the links in the description. Uh, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I really, really appreciate all of you guys who have subscribed to me. Um, like I said, uh, this I, I wouldn't even be doing this if it wouldn't be for you subscribers. It all started out with a couple friends asking me to show off a ROM I was running. I thought this was the easiest way to do it. Uh, and I sent it out public, and quite a few people saw it and asked for more. So, again, I, I appreciate it. Um, and, uh, you know, I just, I appreciate it, guys. Uh that's pretty much it. Uh, I say download it, try it, see what you think. Um, remember, guys, give it a thumbs up if you like it, and uh, I will see you on the next one.